WordPress log files are essentially records of everything that your website and server has done over a specific time frame. The default WordPress log file itself is disabled for new installations. You have to go into the wp-config.php file and manually enable it. We recommend that you enable logging only for a short period as issues arise to fix them and it takes some of your server resources. Here's how to turn them on. Access your root directory where WordPress is installed and find the wp-config.php file. Open it up in your editor of choice and scroll until you find the line that reads, that's all, stop editing. Once there, paste these two lines of code directly above it. The top line enables debugging to occur, while the second generates the log file itself. In this format, the snippet saves the WordPress log file to wp-content slash debug.log. But you can replace true with a relative path in single quotes to specify a different place. Be aware your log file might not appear immediately. It's not a real-time log of the server's activities, but a log with the errors that occur within it. When you finally get the debug.log file, you could save it and even check it out yourself. If you have no development experience, it may look confusing, but in the hands of the right person, this information is crucial. To get help, post your log files on WordPress Stack Exchange and you'll get a response in no time. Additionally, you could send the debug logs to the developers of the problematic plugin directly, or even post on the official WordPress help forms over at wordpress.org. And there you go. Now you know all about log files. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.